Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down some more Naya Slivers, and we won the die roll up against Lucas, and let's see what kind of a hand we can get here. Uh, a very good, reasonable hand. I like it. A couple, couple creatures, some refill, you know. Not bad, not bad. I think... I think I want to play my lead the, steed, lead the Stampedes on time, so I am going to go to and just put down Thriving Grove, turn one. Uh, just so we can assure that we play Lead the Stampede on turn 3. I don't want to fall behind on that. Uh, I will do red since we got all their colors and then we'll pass. Got a new haircut. It was a little too short. I told them to buzz it, but they went real short. Real, real short. Oh well. My hair grows back fast, so. All right, goblins, uh, that might be rough with the starting hand we have, but we'll try it. All right, another, another land here. This is the Thriving Grove. I'm debating. I don't want this to just get hit with the removal, but uh, I do want to be mana efficient, so we'll, we'll go ahead and put down the sinew, and we'll see what happens. I don't know... I'm sure they're playing with lightning bolts, right? If you're playing red, you gotta have lightning bolts in the deck. But we'll see. I mean, it is goblins, so chances are they could just be running a deck similar to ours as far as just creature heavy, no spells. And so far it looks that way. And we are gonna need to compete with this denizen too. He's just gonna get buff, buff, buffed. Uh, so we do need to get some lords out, like, ASAP. Oh my gosh, dude. This is just red aggro? This is just red deck wins. It might not even be, uh... Yikes, man. Six? I'm taking six. Alright, I'm taking six. They got two cards left in hand. Hunter Sliver. It's pretty good. Alright. Alright. Ah, they can just double block though. Let's see. Double, double, double. They could trade. They could trade with my sinew. But I think I'm going to clear the board and get rid of this. This denizen. Yeah, we need to get rid of this denizen. I am just going to play hunter. Sidewinder. We're going to swing with the sinew. We're going to provoke the denizen dude. He'll die. And then if they want to double block with the burning trees, we can kill those off too and get those off the board. We lose. We lose a creature. Oh, they're just going to do that. Okay, that's fine. All right. I'm fine with that. We're still going to take a little bit of damage. Which I'm not super excited about. But what other tricks do you have up your sleeve here? Oh, wow. I just realized I had Pioneer up. Oops. Naya. We're playing Naya, guys. Not Pioneer. My bad. <laughs> just with the valley... Okay. For a second I thought they were just attacking with valley dasher. I go to eight? I need a really good hit off of lead the stampede so I can clear their board a lot more. I'm going to take it. I don't like taking this hit. It's scary. Any other follow-ups? You got three cards in hand. What do you got? Decisions. Are you missing a land drop? Do you got... They might have three drops that they can't play. Alright, here we go. 
There's the lightning bolt. Ah, Vault Scourge. Okay. Well, that's going to become a problem. Let's lead the Stampede right now. I'm playing the Forest because I want to hold up. Yeah, I guess we'll just maximize. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold up the planes. That's nice. We get a plated. We get a couple plateds. This is a good lead the stampede. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to attack in. I'm just going to pass. They got one card in hand, and we're going to eat the Valley Dasher. They're just swinging out. I don't like any of this. Um, why are you doing this? They could have like some kind of board wipe thing. They could have, maybe they're playing with electricery. Whatever, I, I need to block here. I'm just gonna block and they can do what they want. Uh, we could just be setting up for some trades too if they like kill something yep all right that's unfortunate now we're there we're just done that was a great top deck from them just top deck the lightning bolt we can recover a little bit all right thriving we're gonna choose white on this one okay i guess we're just gonna put down a couple lords huh Hope they don't top deck another lightning bolt. Bushwhacker. That sucks. Was it kicked though? Yeah, it was kicked. That's terrible, man. Now we got a trade. What are these draws from them? This is pretty ridiculous are we just dead to this we're just dead to this thing huh five six seven they had some great top decks gotta say this we could have turned this game around really nicely we could have dropped both these things played out another lead the stampede Let's see what of our lead the stampede would have gotten. Yeah, all right. That's unfortunate. It was a close one. They they got some really good draws. All right. Uh, Prismatic seems good. Spinneret, uh, I suppose, seems reasonable. Take out a winding way. I think I like everything else. What else should I cut here? Striking seems good in this matchup. Hunter seems great. Just cut a gem hide. Sure. Let's try it like that. Uh, I'm just debating swift response. I think I don't think we need it in this matchup. They're all small creatures for the most part that we can chump block if we get ahead. Which typically we should. We were just a little bit slow that time. Yes. Our one Ash Baron's in our hand. Oh my gosh. This would be a great hand otherwise. Okay. Alright. I'll keep that. Uh, we'll just dump a land. Boop. Pass. Start dropping these lords. We'll put down a spinner at first. It'll be a good blocker with our our lords. Can't attack unless you cast a creature spell, sure. Let's 
completed. All right, that'll be nice. Would love to draw another land next turn so we can play this and a lord. I don't think Spinneret is like extremely necessary in this matchup. I just brought, brought it in because we did see the Vault Scourge, uh, but typically this is gonna be a low to the ground matchup. All right, it's time to combo. Do they got the Burning Tree into Burning Tree again? Let's see. Yeah, they do. Oh my gosh. Good for them. Good for them. Triple Burning Tree. Oh boy. <laughs> you hate to see it. Into War, um, war Marshal. All right. They got a good start. Nah, we're not going to block this turn. Give me a land so we can catch up a little bit, please. Land. Yes. Beautiful. Now we're going to be out of reach of a lightning bolt. Somewhat. Oh, no, we're not. Not yet. For a second, I thought we were. Uh, all right. Let's just stay on defense for a bit. We don't have any good attacks anyways. Not going to pay the echo. Just going to get another goblin. All right, that's not that's not too scary. I was more worried about the other goblin that pumps the team. They're going in. They're setting up for another one of these dumb hits, aren't they? All right. Well, we can at least mitigate a little bit of the damage here. We can block these. If they want to lightning bolt our lord, we'll still be able to eat a couple creatures. So I'm fine with this. Another another land next turn would be really nice too. So we can just double drop the lords. But then we're out after that. So All right, we take some damage, but we don't lose our board. And they are passing. All right, Viverlin. I mean, it's another creature. That's... Oh, cancel. Hold up. Diversify the lords. See if they take something out now. Yeah, they're going to take it out. All right, that's fine. Chances are now... Well, we'll see how they attack again. If they do a full-on attack again, they probably have another lightning bolt in hand. Just pass. Land, that's good. Pass. Come on. Yep, alright. They don't have lightning bolts. Give me a good cre oh yeah. Alright. Beautiful. Now we're in charge. Uh let's see. Decent attacks here. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to wait a turn before we do anything else. I'm going to make sure they're really in a bad spot to make blocks. Uh, deals X damage where X is number of goblins on the battlefield. That's pretty insane. So I'm going to attack into that next turn because I don't want them to power that off and kill something if they drop more goblins. Ooh, ooh, me likey. All right, let's get on the attack. Let's get on the aggression here. We're presenting lethal, so they got to do a couple chump blocks. How you blocking, Lucas? That's it. 
All right, take a bunch of poisonous. Go to four. We're going to take... They're going to try to kill us this turn, so we're going to have to chump block. Might still be a little tight. Let's see what they can power out. They've only got two goblins, so they can't kill anything yet. They can do two damage to us, though. So they need a way to, like, fill the board with some goblins. Yep, alright, cool. I, I figured that was going to be a pretty hard task for them to do, but that's why we had to pressure them. Alright, let's run it back. I would have blocked them maybe with... Hmm, that's debatable. I, I know what they were doing. They were trying to get me on the swing back if they got the right top deck, so there's a chance they had to take. Just run it back, I guess, and uh, see if we can get another good start. That was a decent start for us. They are on the play, though. <sighs> this is going to be another one of the Game 1 scenarios. I, I can't really toss this back. I don't want to toss this back. I just feel like it's not... We're on the... Maybe I should have. Maybe this is a little too slow for... Their start against ours, especially with them being on the play. Well, we get a turn one play at least, so... I'll take what we can get. This deck is just not going to give us a lot of time to get situated. That's unfortunate. That, that's a good early play for them. So now this thing... That sucks. This thing is just going to eat my lords as I play them. So they lose two life. Oh, I misread that the first time. They don't actually deal us damage. They deal themselves damage. I, I just can't do anything. Um, we'll keep him back as a chump blocker because we may need it, but... If I play a Lord now, he can just tap kill it. I gotta be able to buff a little bit. That puts me in such a spot. Hmm. Huh. Yep, they're just gonna clear the board. Ooh, Bushwhacker. Alright, we're in trouble. Hitting for five. Plated's a bit awkward here. Just gonna lead the stampede. I mean, what else can I do? I can only play out one creature, and it's just gonna die by the smarks sparksmith. I gotta have a turn where I can set up and get out of range of this thing, and it can do three damage now. So this is gonna be tough. Get rid of our mountain. We don't need it right now. Oh, we're just we're just dead. We're taking nine. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Ah, that's a good card. Sparksmith's a good card, man. He really held us out long enough. Go to four. They can just lightning strike me to one if they want. 
What do I need? Planes? He's probably just going to die. They're going to sneak in for one damage and then just hit me in the face. This is all we can do, but it doesn't really matter. They're going to take out one creature. Oh, they're going to cycle. Do you not have the lightning bolt? That's crazy. They can kill one creature. We block two things. We take two. Uh, and then they've got four cards in hand. The chances of them having a lightning strike is... Uh, uh, yeah, Chain Lightning is going to do it too. All right, good game, good game. Uh, that was a fun matchup. It was a, good, it was a good, good deck, good deck. I haven't seen like the just classic like red deck wins in a while. It's basically goblins. It was basically goblins. Just, I don't know, they were playing with Vault Scourge though and the other guy. Uh, it seemed more of like a red deck wins, but there's so many good cards in goblins that that's why you're seeing a lot of goblins, I guess. But I don't know, what would you guys call this one? Is this more red deck wins or is it? teetering more on goblins i'll have to look up the deck list and see what people are calling it i guess but hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe we're gonna have more popper slivers in the middle of the week here along with some other fun stuff so stay tuned for that and we will see you guys in the next video